The FA-50 is combat stealth manufactured by Korea Aerospace Industries Kai for the Republic of Korea Air Force. The FA-50 was awarded Military Type Certificate by the Korean Military Aircraft Airworthiness Committee MAAC in October 2022. It is the first fighter-class military aircraft to receive the MAAC certification. The T-50 has been further developed into aerobatic and combat variants, namely T-50B, TA-50, and FA-50. It is equipped with the Elta ALM-2032 fire control radar. The FA-50 is designed to operate as a full-fledged combat platform for precision-guided weapons, air-to-air -air missiles, and air-to-ground missiles. The targeting the FA-50 is the most advanced version of the T-50, possessing more internal fuel capacity, enhanced avionics, a longer radome, and a tactical data link. It is equipped with a modified Israeli ELM-2032 Pulse Doppler radar with Korean-specific modifications by LIG Nex-1. The radar of the FA-50 has a range two-thirds greater. Samsung Thales is also independently developing a domestic multi-mode AESA radar for the FA-50. In January 2019, Kai has begun development on an improved FA-50 known as Block 10 and Block 20 upgrades. Block 10 is a software upgrade, so it can use the Lockheed Martin and AAQ-33 sniper targeting pod, while the Block 20 is improvement capability to conduct beyond visual range air-to-air -air missions, carrying munitions such as the AM-120 AM, RIAM assistance, and electronic warfare. The FA-50 Golden Eagle design is largely derived from the F-16 Fighting Falcon, and they have some similarities. Kai's previous engineering experience in license producing the KF-16 was a starting point for FA-50 development. The trainer has seating for two pilots in a tandem arrangement. The high-mounted canopy developed by Hankup Fiber is applied with stretched acrylic, providing the pilots good visibility. The trainer has been tested to offer the canopy with ballistic protection against four pounds objects impacting at 400 knots. The altitude limit is 14,600 meters, and airframe is designed to last 8,000 hours of service. There are seven internal fuel tanks with capacity of 2655 lighters, five in the fuselage and two in the wings. An additional 1710 lighters of fuel can be carried in the three external fuel tanks. T-50 trainer variants have a paint scheme of white and red, and aerobatic variants white, black, and yellow. The combat aircraft is intended to meet the light fighter requirements of air forces around the world. The advanced radar provides the FA-50 jet with detection capability. The FA-50 measures 13.14 meters in length, 9.45 meters in width, and 4.82 meters in height. The empty weight of the aircraft is 6.47. It can take off with a maximum gross weight of 12.3 t. KAI FA-50's tandem glass cockpit can carry two crew members. It is equipped with a wide field of view head-up display HUD, color multifunction displays MFTs, digital engine instrumentation, hands-on throttle, and stick HOTAs integrated upfront controls, and zero-zero ejection seat. The flight control systems include digital fly-by-wire, active stick, electrical emergency power unit, digital brake-by-wire, and triple redundant electrical system. The cockpit also integrates an onboard oxygen generation systems. The night vision imaging system, NVIS aboard the aircraft, ensures mission capability during day and night. The avionics package consists of embedded inertial navigation system, global positioning system, IS GPS, integrated mission computer, identification, friend or foe, radar altimeter, multimode radar, store management system, UA to radio, tactical data link, data transfer and recording system, radar warning receiver RWR, and countermeasure dispensing system CMDS. Weapon Systems on the South Korean Aircraft FA-50 aircraft can carry a weapons load of up to 
The aircraft can be armed with AIM-9 Sidewinder, short-range air-to-air missiles, AG M65 Maverick Air-to-Ground Tactical Missiles AGM, GBU-38B Joint Direct Attack Munitions, CBU-105 Sensor Fused Weapon SFO, MiG-82 Low Drag General Purpose Bombs, and Cluster Bomb Units.